Good evening. I hope you're ready to sing. We have a whole extra time to sing at night. And this is going to be Southern Gospel Night, since we're in the South, right? All right. So we're going to start with this song here. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. We're going to do it twice as fast as that, okay? When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair, when the saved on earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. On that bright and cloudless morning, when the dead in Christ shall rise, and the glory of his resurrection share. When his chosen ones shall gather to their home beyond the skies, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. A little slower on the next verse. Let us labor for the master from the dawn to setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. When all of life is over and our work and under, and the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road, when the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road is called up yonder. When the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. All right, back it up. We're going to do that third verse again. Let us labor. Let's get back. We go. Let us labor for the master from the dawn to setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work is on, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Okay. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder. up a few centuries to shout to the Lord. It's actually an old song now, isn't it? My Jesus, my Savior. Number 155. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is no one like you. Peace. 
over sickness or pain, no more parting over there, and forever I will be with the one who died for me. What a day, glorious day that will be. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see, and I look upon his face, the one who saved me by his grace, when he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land. What a day, glorious day that will be. Let's do the chorus again. What a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see, and I look upon his face. One who saved me by his grace when he takes me by the hand and leads me to the promised land. What a day, glorious day that will be. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Christ is the way 
is not in 5C, you will not find that anywhere on the property. You will be wandering for hours. And uh, it is in 2AB, uh, so on the second floor of the Angel Building, and there's plenty of signs posted. So that's for uh, Tom's seminar this afternoon. <clears throat> we'll have uh, a full day of, of meetings, um, and after lunch we have more seminars, and then uh, there will be a, a nice big break this afternoon for fellowship, and uh, soccer, I think, took place yesterday, um, golf and all of the things. I did get a take on the Polar Bear Club, so we're still working on that. Um, I think we're going to make some t-shirts, and uh, um, that's, that, that might happen, actually. So, yeah. But I stuck my foot in my mouth on that one. So. <clears throat> I'd like to highlight just a few of the, uh, the tables that we have in the back. Um, this one is an actual a newer ministry. Uh, this is their first conference uh, out, uh, and, and uh, they started just uh, the be beginning of this year. And it's the uh, Overseas Publishing publishing and Literature Table, and it's in the back. And this ministry provides uh, resources to schools across the world, schools, prisons, anywhere where a library is needed. And so um, I know that's happened at our assembly where an older brother or sister has passed away, and they have a giant, enormous library, and uh, you don't know what to do with all the books. And so... Um, they would gladly take those books uh, from you and um, dedicate those to another um, program or ministry overseas somewhere. Um, they have a, uh, their own publishing um, capabilities as well. And so this is one that they've just come out with, Suffering for Christ, uh, written by a, a Pakistani brother. And um, a lot of this literature is, is written in light of the culture in which it's, it's attended for. Um, so not necessarily the Western culture. And so um, these books are actually for sale. Uh, they have Bill McDonald's commentary in the back. A lot of that just goes to help offset some of the costs that they have in shipping. And so if you're interested in taking advantage of that or you know that uh, you have people that could uh, donate books, they would love to, to, to reach out and make contact with you. And uh, above all else, we can definitely be praying for them. We also have uh, some tables uh, in this corner here. Um, and this one is for the uh, Western Assembly's home. Uh, this is actually a hometown uh, plug here for uh, those that uh, are in the Southern California area. Um, but it's a retirement home for uh, commended workers and missionaries. And uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a great facility, um, very um, like, um, like a rest haven or a park of the palms. It's just on the West Coast. So the weather's... Very nice. And so uh, if, if you're interested, um, you can talk to me. Uh, the, the, there's brochures in the back, and uh, there's uh, it, it's for anybody in, related to the assemblies is welcome. It's not only for committed workers and missionaries, um, but we, we do, uh, it is a ministry that we provide uh, a great discount or even full care for those that are not able to take care of themselves in their latter years. Last but not least, uh, Camp Horizon uh, was struck with the travel restrictions as well. And so they were not able to be here, but I was told to make this announcement. And they are in uh, need, or there's two positions available, and that's for a full-time worker, program manager, and then a part-time food manager. And this is gonna be at Camp Horizon down in Florida. Calvin Fritchie, which I'm told is Craig's father, for the note, uh, and, and we all know, know and love the family, and they, uh, he'd be the point of contact for that. And you can uh, get in more information. If you know of anybody that would be interested in those positions, they can email info at camphorizon.org. All right, enough with the commercial breaks here. Uh, this morning, we are going to uh, be with our brother, uh, Tom Shedlick, once again. Um, immensely enjoyed the ministry last night. And if I wasn't nervous with a lawyer in the room last night, um, I've asked another lawyer to open us in a word of prayer. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's hot up here. <clears throat> um, our brother uh, Christopher Robinson from the Lubbock, Texas area is going to open our meeting in a word of prayer. Good morning. Will you join with me in prayer? Our gracious, all-sufficient Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you once again for this beautiful new day, a gift you've given us like so many others, undeserved, full of your grace and mercy. I pray that we'd be good stewards of the day today and use it for your honor and glory. I pray for all who are handling your word this morning. 
bringing the various uh -huh. messages for those who are serving in all various capacities. I just pray that all service would be rendered for your honor and glory, for our encouragement, for our edification, for our equipping. We might go back home and bring that same encouragement, love of Christ to our families, to our assemblies. We do pray for our family members and assemblies back home that you can continue to bless them and protect them while we are away. We pray particularly for those dealing with various physical issues and illnesses that have been brought to our attention while we've been here. We commit those to you, praying that your will be done and that you provide healing, that be your will and wisdom for the caregivers. Father, help us uh, confess any known sins that we need to uh, agree with you about, that we might rightly prepare our hearts and minds for uh, the intake of your word, uh, that we might be restored to fellowship with you and rightly prepared to enjoy our time continuing to praise and worship you and study your word and be reminded of the beauty of the unity of your body, your bride, the church. Thank you for all who are able to be here today and pray for those who are not able to make it. We pray for traveling mercies and um, safety going back uh, tomorrow or the next day, whatever that might be. Just thank you so much for the opportunity and the continued freedom that we enjoy to, to be able to gather like this. Help us not to take it for granted. We pray for our brothers and sisters around the world who don't enjoy such freedom and protection together as we are here in your name. We just pray for those commended workers and missionaries that you protect them as they serve today as well. Help us to decrease that you might increase as we continue, as Paul instructed us, to work out salvation, we will do it again in a way that's pleasing and honoring to you. We thank you and praise you. Christ, amen. Being with you, and you have been very encouraging by enjoying the singing. I thank Brother Joel for leading the hymn sing last night. That also was just a wonderful time. Um, as you know, though, my dad is not doing well. He's in the ICU. He's sedated, and but what's interesting is he can still respond by squeezing my brother's finger so I could talk to him over the phone and he could answer. I think it's best that I, I go home, so I'm gonna fly home this afternoon and Brother Craig Fritchie will take over the song leading, but I wonder if we could stand together and sing this song that I think is a it's going to be an encouragement to me, but I think to all of us. He will hold me. Number 404. Oh. 
That's the whole source of all we have is one body and one life is in him. Let's sing this song together, 367. <laughs> together for this first song. We're going to sing The Family of God. And growing up down in Miami, we would sing this song, and then the piano, the instrumentalist will play it through twice, and we'll greet each other, say hello, welcome, good to see you all, then we'll come back and sing it again. All right, so let's sing together The Family of God. I'm so glad I'm a part.
And we know that you have done that in all of our experiences in past life in many places that you have been faithful once again. We pray that this offering may be a blessing. At this time, we also remember our dear ones who could not be here for sickness, sorrow, some who fell. Brother Upton, there in Minneapolis, we pray for him, oh Father, that may be with him and bless him. Brother, brother, there are many others who could not make it for various reasons. Bless their hearts, we pray. Thank you. This evening, we lift our hearts and bring our brother, Dr. Steve Price, to the throne of grace. Thou may speak through him to me and to all us. Tonight, you may challenge our hearts to live for your glory in the days to come. Forgive our sins and our shortcomings. We pray that way. Bless everyone who came. At the merry time, go home rejoicing. We thank you and thank you for hearing our prayers. We pray this, giving you thanks in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And all of God's people said, Amen. Thank you.
I'll turn it over. I think about uh, the future. We also want to thank our wives um, because they dealt with a lot of us running around like crazy people, not just during the conference, but in general. And so we want to thank our wives uh, for all that they sacrificed for us as well. So let's stand together and sing number uh, 245 in Anthem Songs, The Servant King. This is our God, the Servant King. He calls us now to follow him, to bring our lives as a daily offering of worship to the Servant King.